He is accused of murdering his friend, but Jesse Bruce says he did it in self-defense and he is hoping to avoid a trial thanks to Utah's new self-defense law. Good evening. KSL investigator Daniela Rivera first reported on the law's unintended consequences. Now tonight she explains how prosecutors in Bruce's case are now instead using pursuing domestic violence charges. Let's go on the record of the matter of the state of Utah versus Jesse Bruce. Jesse Bruce is in court for a pre-trial justification hearing, a brand new legal process in Utah created by House Bill 227, which went into effect in May. And that statute outlines circumstances under which the defendant uh, who makes a claim of self-defense in certain offenses is entitled to a hearing. Bruce was set to stand trial back in October for allegedly stabbing Corey Haney to death in 2019. But the new law means a chance to get charges dismissed before trial at a justification hearing where prosecutors have to prove the accused was not acting in self-defense or the defense of others. If prosecutors can't meet a high burden of proof, the case gets dismissed before it ever goes to a jury. There's always that little thought in the back of your mind that what if that happens? Kaylin Stafford brought her son's picture to court for the justification hearing, but the process didn't go forward as planned. In a new filing, prosecutors say Haney's death was ruled a homicide caused by multiple stab wounds to the neck and head. It also says Bruce and Haney were roommates. Prosecutors are now arguing the new self-defense law should not apply to this case because the law includes an exception for domestic violence cases. Bruce and Haney were not romantic partners, but prosecutors say being cohabitants is enough to make this a case of domestic violence. It's a claim the judge says now has to be explored. The fact that the state has made that allegation now uh, calls into question whether or not the defendant is entitled to this hearing. We still were re-victimized. Haney's family is encouraged that the domestic violence claim means they might not have to go through an extra evidentiary hearing to get to the long-awaited trial after all. But Stafford says they've still experienced months of delays because of House Bill 227, and she wants to see the new law changed. These are unintended consequences, I believe, but it needs some major work um, with some due diligence or it needs to just be repealed. The hearing to determine whether this case will move forward as a domestic violence case is set for February 8th. I'm Daniela Rivera, KSL 5 News.